I'm about to open up a package from Hong Kong. My friend sent it to me. Guys, so all of a sudden Fashion Nova stopped delivering things to China. I think the last time I ordered straight from the app and it got to my place was like a year ago. Spring stuff, spring clothes, I think. When was that? Ooh -wee. Anyway, Fashion Nova stopped all of a sudden. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to order to my friend's apartment, my friend's place. She stays in Hong Kong. It's not far from China. And then when, when it gets to Hong Kong, she'll just send them to me. Yo, never again. Guys, what an expensive, what an expensive exercise. Like, yes, sis, I, I will never get over how much I spent to get these clothes here. I will never in my life and I will always be upset because I just I don't think that will happen but anyway we move let me just see my things oh I'm so excited I can't wait Finally, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Damn it. So here are my things. I'm definitely going to have a try on haul. But in a separate video. A styling video winter styling video I can't wait I'm so excited that I've got some of these things I'm also gonna be wearing things that I have bought here already like from Zara H&M Taobao shops so I'm really excited I need to film that clothing video very soon because we are in the middle of winter and I'd like to give people some inspo and it's fun you know what's fun about doing these videos even when I need to dress up to go somewhere I literally go back and I refer to the video I'm like oh that outfit it's very good like my knee has been giving me some problems like I've been feeling pain when I go down the stairs or sometimes up the stairs and I decided to check it out and yeah a lot's going on <sighs> hello Hey guys, I am here at the hospital and like I said, I'm gonna get physical physiotherapy, right? Yeah. So this is Dr. Christine. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Christine Fang. I'm from Taiwan. I'm a, a head physiotherapist in Guzo Clinic. Yeah, so I just wanted to like tell me exactly what is going on with my knee. Okay, so what your knee is happening is that you have an MCL tear which uh, stands for medial collateral ligament. That's mm -hmm. a very important ligament in the inner knee right mm -hmm. here. So what you have right now is a minor tear. Mm -hmm. That means you don't need any surgery to repair it, but you need regular physiotherapy to enhance the stability over the ligament mm -hmm. and also to increase your muscle, uh, your, muscle, your muscle strength and control over your right knee joint so that you can um, relief with the pain and also go back to dancing. <laughs> yep. She's saying dancing because my knee gets painful when I'm out and stuff. So Yeah, and when she's dressing perfectly, she gets 
More easily on the right knee. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Sorry, guys. My phone died as I was recording. But yeah, I'm currently getting this light treatment thingy, whatever. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's it feels warm on my knee. And this is going to be happening for like the next 15 minutes or so. And then Christine is going to come back and then we're going to do something else. So each session, I'm usually here for like an hour. So probably 1.30, that's when I'll be leaving. And yeah. Ah, so I'm just going to be chilling here. Watching some YouTube videos. Or just scrolling on Instagram. I need to do my nails. The last time I did my nails was like a few weeks ago. I think before Paul's birthday. And I filed them short because they were pointy because I felt like I was going to poke the kids. But now I just want to take out these fake ones and just do like a cute little French. I need to take out my hair. It's old now. It's like three weeks. Yeah, not even baby hair can save this. I need to take this out. And yeah. It's almost Christmas. The year is done, guys. Like, we are in mid-December, my dear. Like, full on. frustrated Han 
in the world right now. So frustrated, it's not even funny. I don't even know where to start. But anyway, it's Sunday today and I'm about to go out for dinner. I'm so stressed, I just need a drink. I feel like I'll explain why I'm so frustrated tomorrow. Right now, my plan was to film something, but that didn't work out, so I'm just gonna vlog. To just feel like a little bit better. So I'm just gonna vlog. I'm about to go out for dinner now. And yeah, tomorrow's Monday, I'm not going to work. I will explain why tomorrow. Right now, let's just go for the vibes, okay? Let's enjoy the drinks, let's enjoy the food. We'll deal with everything tomorrow. Yeah, let's go. Let me get my Didi. I'm going to my favorite restaurant. Guys, look at my painting that I've put um, in such a weird position. <laughs> because I've put it in such a weird position because I have nowhere to hang it. This is actually my... Behind this is the electricity thing in the bob. Power switch, whatever. So it doesn't fit um, this way. And it doesn't fit this way. And my wall is... You can't really, like, make a hole here. The landlord would kill me. So, basically, I just put it that way. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm going out for dinner and drinks right now happy hour vibes that always makes me feel better let's do a little outfit check nothing hectic just a coat a top joggers and my dog martens one thing about me i'm in my dog martens era my dear i am in my dog martens era I wear them all the time yeah, basically, that's how I look in my Lepondo. Let's go out for dinner. Ha! Can you go scream, guys? I want to scream. I'm so annoyed. Can you see that? I was about to film the setup there at the back, but life happened. I'm so done with my life. Like, I'm so done. Let me just get a car, child because I'm done. I'm done. Oh my God, it's so late. <sighs> okay. Pick me up here. Okay, the car's one minute away. Let me go. Today is Monday and I just took off my mask. So, there's a lot that's going on in China right now. They have lifted all those restrictions, having travel codes, the mandatory testing for COVID. They've cancelled all of that. So, now in my city, in Nanjing, there's like a big number of cases that have that are positive now like a lot of people are positive now because the restrictions have been removed you know it used to be very 
difficult to go to other provinces without being quarantined and blah blah blah. We had different health codes like red for high risk, yellow for medium, and then green as normal. So people were not really traveling easily within China. You would get quarantined if you went to the wrong place and stuff like that. What's this white thing? Oh. So last week they basically lifted all of those restrictions and they were basically like okay forget everything your health is your own problem if you want to travel somewhere travel if um, it's a high-risk area go do you basically there's no need to show your green code just live take of your own health wear mask if you test positive you just um, self isolate in your own apartment for like three days but no one is even gonna be on your case so now everyone has COVID so many foreigners have COVID I know so many people that are sick but I'm okay I don't have any symptoms or anything like that so we're not going to work they said we shouldn't come to work some schools were already closing for Christmas but mine wasn't um, so I was told not to come to work today and I'll probably just not go to work until next year I hope not but that will probably be the case until um, next semester until Chinese New Year is done which is like in Feb and you know what that means that might affect my salary that's the annoying thing so yeah basically that's what's happening but anyway I'll just take it as a break and rest Ooh. and rest and yeah get ready for Christmas it's Christmas on Sunday I'm really excited about that on Saturday it's Bathia's 30th birthday brunch so that's exciting and yeah yesterday I was so frustrated because I was trying to film a makeup video and my camera was just wilding bro like it was just wilding making me look orange and just ah it was stressful but anyway I managed to do it today as you can see that's why I have this face beat so right now I'm just <laughs> I look like I'm going around in circles I'm just taking a walk in my neighborhood I want to go to Lawson's and look for a cable that I'm gonna use to transfer videos from my camera to my laptop because usually I transfer to my phone then my laptop which is so ghetto I don't know what's going on with my camera but I clearly need to go to a Canon store ASAP which I wanted to do today but when I texted them they told me that everyone in the store has COVID so it's closed like it's crazy there we wanted these restrictions to go away so badly but now everyone is sick like but I feel like it's a phase I feel like after a month or so things will be normal like the rest of the world you know it's just that we were so restricted and there were places where it's like okay this city has a lot of cases the people there shouldn't leave the city doesn't the people there shouldn't go to that city you know what I mean so now that everyone is just moving around freely it's everywhere and yeah but I think it'll go down just like the rest of the world and I am hoping this is like the final mess that we're having with COVID in this country because bro it's crazy like it's been a lot it's been a lot this is since like January 2020 it's gonna be 2023 next year with this COVID like you know if you live in China and you haven't been home ever since 2019 you've truly been through a lot like your mental health has gone down the gutter all the way up all the way down like it's insane you know but I really feel like this is the last big hoo-ha 
once we get over this, no man, China it'll go back to normal. I feel like I hope, you know, and I'm so fortunate that I don't have any symptoms and I'm not feeling sick like so many of my friends that I know. At this point, sometimes I feel like it's just a matter of time before I start feeling something. I'm waiting, like I'm literally just waiting sometimes to start coughing for a fever or something. But you know, it's not at, it's not how it used to be. Um, it's not deadly, obviously. So I feel like even if I get it, I'll just get sick and then I'll just get better. So, yeah, that's the situation with COVID. It's crazy. But anyway, let me go look for this cable um, and go back home. <sighs> Yo, not me panting like I was running for my life. It's so cold, but it feels really nice being outside. I was in the house all day, so I'm enjoying this fresh air. Then I'm gonna go back in and edit the video and hopefully I'll have it up soon. I was trying out new makeup and my skin is breaking out, my dear. Like, there's breakouts everywhere. The makeup can't even cover it, but it is what it is. This is how makeup looks in real life, child. It just sits on top of your pimples. There's nothing you can do. So yeah, guys, let me go get what I need to get at Lawson's. It's in my community. I'm not going anywhere, and then I'm going to go back home. I'll catch you guys later. I've been vlogging bits and pieces of just my life in December, and I think I'm just going to throw it all into one video, and there you go. <laughs> So, yeah. See y'all. I'm gonna get this one. It says charge and sink cable. So I think I should be able to get some videos from my camera to my laptop with this. We'll see. This is my lunch. I know it doesn't look amazing, but it slaps. Some kind of vegetable. Chicken. Pork. And some kind of vegetable and rice. <laughs> I'm about to eat this and watch um, what's the name of this show on Netflix? Too Hard to Handle If I'm being honest, some of the stuff I've never done before <sighs> Morning guys so today is Wednesday and I'm going out now because I'm going to the pharmacy. I feel like I'm getting a bit sick. Like you know that first day of catching a cold? Yeah, last night my throat was feeling like... <coughs> like how you'd feel and then you'd quickly grab mad lemon and try to get rid of it. So yeah, I'm feeling some bit of a headache like tension here okay my nose cleared up and my throat is giving me problems I actually thought maybe it could even be tonsils because I had pork yesterday usually when I have pork I just randomly get tonsils so I'm going to the pharmacy to try get some medication and it's so rough right now no one can get medication because people have COVID no one is delivering food I don't have groceries. I can't believe I have to go to a grocery store. I have meat though, so I think I'm just gonna go get veggies. Cause I really don't feel like going to the grocery store. Like, no. I usually order and they deliver, but they're not doing that right now. So I'm a bit nervous. I'm feeling like, am I getting sick? Do I have COVID? 
I wouldn't be surprised because so many people around me have it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. I've actually just been waiting. I've been waiting for something. But the timing is off. Today is Wednesday. It's Bachelor's birthday today. And on Saturday, it's her birthday celebration. Like, if I'm sick, I need to recover by then. Because I'm going. What? Anyway, there's so many things going through my mind. But right now... I'm gonna go to the pharmacy that's right outside my community and see what they can give me. If they can't give me anything, I'll just have to buy lots of oranges and lemons and ginger and honey and just sit in here and drink that until I feel better. We'll see. I'll catch up with you guys later and yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping I'm just having like these tiny little symptoms for just a day or two and then I just go back to my life because no, like I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for what I've been seeing on Instagram. Like, people are just dying and stuff. Well, not literally dying, but people are in so much pain. Like, it's just, I'm not ready. Why didn't it happen to me when it was happening to everyone else? Why do I have to experience all of these things later? I hate that so much. So, anyway, let me get out of here. I'm literally buying so many things. I'm just like, give me everything. I'm gonna drug myself tonight. She's wearing two masks, but she's not playing with anybody. <laughs> okay, I got some medication. Actually got quite a few stuff. I got this. I got this. I got two of them and this that lady just kind of recommended it to me i think she's just like girl i know what's going on here you might have covid and i got masks and i just got this it looks like i don't know it just looks like some kind of tea that i should be drinking like so I took it, and then I also got this. So most of these are <clears throat> Tevin recommended to me, Carrie's boyfriend, and yeah. And I got some extra veggies, nothing much, some eggs. I'm planning on making myself some carrot soup, and yeah. I am gonna fight this thing. If, if it's what I think it is, because I can't confirm right now, but most probably I am positive. I haven't tested. Like, I've just been avoiding testing because I'm just like, mm. so if, like, I really have it, I just need to recover quickly, you know? I just need to recover quickly. Like, it just needs to go. So, yeah, guys, I'm gonna, I think that's it for today. That's it for today. And I'll, I'll just catch you guys later some other time. I need to wash the dishes. I need to clean up my house before I feel like I can't move. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting in a mess. So, yeah. Later! Hi, guys! Welcome to my channel! <laughs> Yo, I haven't vlogged in like two days. The last time I vlogged, I was telling you guys how sick I am. I was sick as fuck, but here we are. We made it. It's Bachelor's okay. birthday brunch today. And we forced situations as we always do. <laughs> <laughs> we don't always force them. We show up. That's why we show up. <laughs> so we're on our way to the restaurant to go and have brunch. We're dressed in pink. 30 pink bubbles. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go celebrate, man. So we're on our way now. So we'll show you guys the outfits later. But they girl, you can't even see her. Please, you can't even see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Gooby. Gooby. <laughs> Mara, we it's are. Long, guys. But now we need to celebrate because this has been like planned a long time ago. Like, this. Guys, we were not. Yo, there was a color. 
There was no postponing nothing, Never. but you know what? Here we are, and it's a beautiful day. It's sunny, it's cold as fuck, but we are here. we're gonna enjoy. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be good. We're so. gonna I can't wait to eat. Yeah, oh, my same. appetite is on fire. Starving. Love it. Check you guys later. Hi, guys. So we're here. At the venue, we're taking pictures now. I know I sound horrible. I sound sick as hell, but it's okay, Zila. <laughs> this is such a nice place, actually. Ooh. Oh, nice. Giving drone. Guys, the party is done. We're about to go home. It was so nice. We made it. We were sick. But we celebrated nonetheless. And now it's time to head out. I'll catch you guys later. I think I'm done vlogging for the day. I'm going to get home. Take care of everything and sleep. And tomorrow is Christmas. Actually, I'm not going to sleep. I still need to wrap some presents. So this Nigeria is Papana. This looks so good guys. I'm about to have jello fries, chicken, meatballs, egg, and a salad. Carrie gave me this food. Oh guys, love her so much. Honestly, don't know what I'll do without her. So I'm about to eat. Find something to watch on Netflix. And um, remove my makeup, take a shower. I actually came back from Swatley's brunch and I took a nap. I was feeling so exhausted. Took a nap. And yeah, I'm so grateful for this food. Like, I'm so grateful because I was going to order. But I don't need to order. Carrie, you're a real one. Love you so much, Kesan. So yeah that's it for christmas eve that's how i'm spending my christmas eve i'm at home chilling about to watch something 
eat this delicious food, take a shower and sleep. Hopefully tomorrow I wake up feeling so much better. So, so much better. That's what I want. I'm tired of being sick. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Hi guys. Merry Christmas. Today's Christmas and I feel so much better. I was able to cook. So yeah, it's a good day. I'm chilling indoors. And yeah, now I'm about to open my gifts. It's just been a very chill day. I think it's like 4 p.m. now. So yeah. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are with your loved ones. I'm not gonna be vlogging too much today because I just wanna relax, but just wanted to show you guys that I am well and healthy on Christmas. 